Yeah, why are you buying anything to do with the airlines right now? Why, why are you talking about Michelangelo about it? What? I'm talking to Dan about it. I thought I heard Michelangelo talk. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, Michael's here. But... <laughs> oh, wow. Davey Lashow just coming straight from Michelangelo. He didn't even he didn't say a word. Michelangelo literally hasn't said a word. I just said, what's up? You, I, I know that smirk. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be, I'm wondering uh, today, I'm, I'm imagining bad, I, I, I'm how many times you're, Dan's going to be called fat. No. <laughs> You'll mention my divorce. Like today's going to be a hot one. I can feel it. Oh man. I'm not in a good mood. Yeah, I can see that. Do you have topics? I think this is the topic, Dan. Oh, <laughs> there's starting? not much to talk about. I'm trying to get my email to fucking work. Uh, you want to do the ads again, or you got it? No, I, I, all right. I, I got the first one. I wrote it down. Somebody's fucking with my email because it's like makes me log in. I it won't update since fucking Monday. Come on. All right, it's the rundown. It's April first. It's brought to you by Hooters. Uh, obviously, all the restaurant chains are in trouble, uh, but Hooters, who's been a long time supporter of this, you can go to Hooters to Go dot com. Get on their app. They'll give you 10 bucks off. Any order, 30 or more, you can still get the wings. Use the code Barstool. Support Hooters. Uh, why isn't this fucking working? My, so support Hooters. They're good people. Code Barstool. 10 bucks off. Any order, $30 or more. Hooters to go. Uh, Hooters to go.com on the app. So get the wings. Support them. I, I, for the life of me, I can't figure out what's going on with my outlook. Explain to the people where you're at financially so they understand your mood for this rundown because it's got to be half clarified. a million today. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's, a, it's a bloodbath. Down half, half a million, million, and it's because of a tip from the comment section? No, I won't oh. blame it on that. I mean, some idiot in this fucking comment section was like Boeing, Boeing. So I bought 50,000 shares of Boeing at a buck 39. It's at like a buck 31 right now. It's been at a buck 30. It sucks. The market sucks. I'm down 400 grand today. I haven't been studying Boeing. All the stocks I've been studying. When you say studying, what do you mean? I watch them every second of the day. I don't really watch Boeing. I know Boeing. Boeing was a four hundred dollars stock. Went to 100. Went back up to like 180 maybe, and went down to like 140. And I thought the, the crash kind of like happened today. Mm -hmm. And it, like it started and it was at like on the radio. I was doing the radio and it was that I just put in a thing. I'm like, if it hits 139, I'm going to buy it. And it was at 141 at the time. And it just went all It's at like 130. So I have 50,000 shares. It's gone down. I mean, it's an airline. Or why? Yeah. Why? I mean, buying airline stuff right now is. But it's like that, that you're a stupid person. So, like, a lot of people wait, say wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Kevin, how much are you down today? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting pretty. I think if you buy the fucking airline. Oh, Dan, and you, so your, your and tune you can has changed ride because it out. You, you were asking if you could be a member of DVD. I want to be. Global. Well, I, I do. that attitude, you won't be. I mean, I'm happy that I, I missed I, today. I actually was walking Stella this morning, and I was like, maybe today is the day that I sign up. Thank God I didn't. This is I like mean, uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Ohio State, Michigan day. <laughs> if you buy I actually air, started the day right brilliantly. I started the day brilliantly. I'm going to be going really fast, so it's going to be hard for me to even get anything fucking moving and shaking, baby. Oh, Abbott's a buy at 79.92. That's going up. On what I know, what is wants to access? All right, access it. Google and let me fucking log in and stay logged in. It's because tips. Fuck. So what's uh what's the what's what's it like right now at, at DDTG? Like is it uh panic in the streets? Mm. No, you gotta run the football. No, it's not good. It, it's not good. But it's here's not, the thing. Are you gonna sell it at some point or are you just gonna ride it all the way to the bottom? Well, you, and lose that's all your the money? thing. I have to ride it out, and it could go down to eighty. And I could be down millions, but it'll come back because well, that's Boeing. the thing. If if you you're, I think you're so addicted to the idea of of day trading and having it be short term 
Like, a, a long-term play, yeah, airlines are going to come back. It's just not right fucking now. Well, but well, I feel no, like you, but you Kevin, feel like why, you have to Why, with money. all due respect, I called you a really stupid human? You're a stupid person. And you are, and I get it. I'm the one down. But, like, damn. Yeah. I'm going to give you a football analogy. Okay. This is what it's like. I know the airlines are down. It's like, how can you not take the under? It's snowing. Everyone knows it's snowing. It's right. built into the line. It's not like mm -hmm. we're the only ones like having an inside tip that we're the only ones who know the airlines are down. It's like right. someone getting hurt, and you're like, oh, I've got to bet against this team. It's like, no, you bet with the team that got the guy hurt because everyone's expecting them to lose. That's what That's what this, That's what. what right. 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 at DDT now. Global. Turn that's what your, we said. Turn off your email. Well, I finally started working. I don't know what I did. <laughs> You you just need you just it's too it's too short term for you. You needed no, it to because well, you know it. Yes, it will bounce I, back. I did, but. I did something that I told myself I won't do. I put two million more into the. Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 oh no! Dave, Dave. You're gonna be broke in fucking six weeks, Dave. Bought enough money to buy Miami. Never meant to last. Never meant to last. Oh, Jimmy Buffett song. Made yeah. enough money to buy Miami. So what's that? Five now. You started yeah. with you put into this is you know all the stock people have all been like this is you know you're breaking every rule you're gonna go broke yeah. and I and I and I was actually on your side but I mean I'm that's... not out of this listen I was down half a million total when this thing started and clawed my way back you just gotta stay calm and I'm not gonna let the panic squad get to me but I feel See, like when you just when you're when you're Putting two mil in, another three, and I have no. I put it in. Blink. I haven't invest. I haven't invested it yet. You're gonna blink and be like ten million in the market. <laughs> oh my god! You haven't invested it yet, so like I know exactly what you're. This is why he's not panicking, Kevin. This is why he's not panicking. <laughs> this is old school gambling. He ha started with three million. He put an extra two million in. He's lost half a million, so he's looking right now, being like, "I got four and a half million. I'm right. still good." Right. Like I started with three. You you've kind of forgot that you put an extra two in. Yeah, that's why you're not. It's, it's, it's like when you sold Twitter. When you when you sold Twitter and didn't have it anymore, so you couldn't you couldn't take any more losses, even though you sold it at a fucking a hundred percent loss. Listen, I came up with my tenants. I have them right here. Buy low, sell high. Don't panic, number two. Don't let a bad trade ruin your next trade. Run the football. Scared money don't make money. Uh, the human brain invented computers, not vice versa. John Cheney's amoeba defense. Cheney was amoeba. Everyone's saying that's not him. Was Cheney amoeba defense? I thought he was. I thought it was, um, fuck, what was the guy's Tartanian? name? No, or was it uh it's Cheney. Yeah, I think it might have been Tark. I was thinking maybe it was for a second Eddie Sutton, but no, I think it's Tark. I think it's UNLV. Either way, John Cheney, you Tark. should actually just chain it. John Cheney, I'm gonna was, fucking kill you. It was Tarkini. You should do that. It, it, what? It was Tark. 1990, the 113. You should change it to John Cheney. I'm gonna fucking wring your neck or whatever the quote was with Cal. Yeah, you bust in the your room. Ass. I'm gonna um, kick your ass. What do you guys think of this politician? I don't know what else to talk about, by the way, except this. There's literally nothing happening. <laughs> well, our boy Bob Diacchio is is the is a fucking is a prophet. He's a future teller. He what? you see the NFL is they announced that there's seven games or seven teams make it, obviously the, the expanded playoffs. So there's gonna be six games on wild card weekend. One of the games is gonna be on CBS and also broadcast on Nickelodeon. Crazy idea, right? Why? Why? What's that? Go back to, to get a younger audience. Go back to 2016. Direct quote from Bob Diacchio. We should be we should start putting these games on Nickelodeon to get a younger audience. Wow. Not so stupid now, huh? I mean, I've never thought he was stupid. Nickelodeon is like <laughs> children, though. That's, yeah, that's not a younger audience. That's like babies, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. So 
Um, little comeback right while we've been on the phone here, up to one dollar thirty one 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 thirty one. So it was at like Wait, 130. I mean, this whole so what's the price that you would lose it all? Zero. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> so wait, that's I mean, why I don't. But the thing is, Boeing, honest, like Boeing would go out of business if the government's not going to save. The government has to save Boeing. Boeing, we don't. They're the only airline that makes planes. Like, there's no other American airline. We wouldn't have planes. What about, if what about, just, what about Lock, Lockheed, Lockheed Martin? Martin yeah, yeah, Lockheed Martin. They make planes, right? No. What? Lockheed uh -oh. Martin is like the other. Uh -oh. This is. The other, I mean, I don't know what's what either. No, there's an Italian company, like Italian company in, in Boeing. That's it. This is this would be so funny, Kevin. If if uh, this is this is the part that I want to get into DTTG, but I feel like there's a lot of stocks to go back to a, a, a sports analogy here. It feels like half the time we're betting games at DTTG, and and then we're like, wait, they're not the. I home looked team? it up. Who makes planes? <laughs> Boeing. That's it? Who they makes planes? They, they got a monopoly? Who makes planes? Boeing is the name of the manufacturer. I'm looking like Lockheed Martin makes the SR-72 and the F-21. It looks like they make, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, military shit and space. No, right craft. here. Who makes airplanes? There are many manufacturers of airplanes. Not really. The most well-known <laughs> are Boeing and Airbus. Airbus. So, okay. so why don't you that, get it in that's an Italian company. Those are the, uh, we, so you're only buying we, Americans. There's no way Trump is letting Boeing fail. None. Right. But that's what I mean. So it's got to be a little bit more of a long term, not long term, long term. But you know, if Boeing you're talking about was day at trading, four hundred. Like, it was right, at four hundred. Yeah, but so if you're willing to, happened. if you're willing to hold on to it, I until know what should happen, Dan. <laughs> A little bit of patience, Portnoy. A little bit of patience. The hood's up. Uh-oh, the zipper's up. The hood's up. Here we it go. It is starting again, Dan. First of <laughs> all, multiple things happen. They're starting to sell ads for this thing, so I have to day trade. I have no money anymore. Yeah. I know it's all over. It's like, hey, Dave, go day trade all your money so we can sell a couple 10-cent ads while you go fucking bankrupt. <laughs> and then I also got fucking yelled at a little bit by Penn. No shit. I knew. I mean, you said you were shorting the stock. Well, I wasn't shorting it. I saw. I bought it at twelve eighty and sold it at like. I sold it at twelve eighty and bought it at twelve sixty. I'm just saying. I don't know what you did, but on the on the stream on the on the rundown, you said you were shorting stock. All right. So I just like made money on pen. So I did a little. I I sold. I shorted ten at twelve eighty. I shorted ten at twelve eighty. Bought it back at twelve forty. Are you allowed to do that? I hadn't really mentioned it. <laughs> Stop. Not, I well, wasn't. Company, I was. You I don't even own. see symbols. I only see algorithms. <laughs> you, you, you only see numbers. You're quaint or quant, whatever the fuck they call it. Uh, put that on a t-shirt. I see I numbers. I only see numbers. I see, I see algorithms. See, see, uh, by the way, there's he's in the matrix. He Kelly, just sees, Kelly he just sees zeros and ones. This Kelly Loeffler who got like inside information and like traded all her stocks, she should be in fucking prison. Yes, she should. What did you buy in that, Dave? I don't like this game with you. I all. just want to know. I'm oh, I, I look at your face. Look, he lights <laughs> up. Love I'm it. not telling Love you. It. I'm following along. Yeah, what, that glimmer. You, yeah, along. you have like Eric the biggest the, glimmer in your eye. You start twinkle. doing the math. Oh, so you're down like, you have this many <laughs> shares <laughs> at this, so you're down like $19 million. No, I'm not telling oh, you. Oh, we're ticking back right now. Shut up. 132.64. <laughs> that is a tick back. There you go, one thirty two seventy nine. I I went from down half a million to down three hundred and sixty seven. That's what I'm saying. See, little practically dude. a profit. Damn, it's a crazy game. Do you feel um, now it's going the wrong way? See, I don't like being on the phone. I don't like it. Manscaped. Yeah. <laughs> I, what did you buy it at? Uh uh. I need to know. I want to follow. I know you need for to the know. kids at home. I mean, I said, I said it earlier. Damn it! I really want to know. Trust me, I'm down a fucking gazelle today. 
I was ranting and raving about how great. I know it's good. I don't even want to look at my Twitter. It's probably a fucking all these wannabe fucking. Oh, fuck those guys. The haters. There was a guy who came at me. People pulled him up. He was like in prison for illegal shit. Manscaped. <laughs> If you're stuck inside with your significant other, play close attention. Today's sponsor, Manscaped, can help you out, make the most of your time. Manscaped promotes clean hygiene when it comes to shaving your nuts. Um, Manscaped is forever changing the grooming game with their Perfect Package 3.0 Essentials Kit. The Perfect Package 3.0 Kit comes with new and approved lawnmower 3.0. It's a waterproof cordless body trimmer that features... A cutting-edge ceramics blade to prevent manscaping accidents. Subscribers get a new replacement blade refill. Your lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months. The perfect package. I'm just laughing because I still talk to Renee, and she knows now I'm day trading. She's like, how'd you do it? It's like, I'm up like 70 grand, 80 grand. Today's going, how'd you do it? I'm going to be down like a bill. Perfect package also includes, it's like very mean. It's like, oh, I won 80 bucks. I won 100. I'm down 17. The perfect package also includes the crop preserver. Anti-chafing ball deodorant moisturizer. For a limited time, subscribers get not one but two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag and Anti-Shaving um, Manscaped Boxer Briefs get 20% off free shipping, with what just happened. Oh, Jesus, Dave. Where did you Are you start? there? Your, oh. your audio is. Your camera's not. Wait. What happened? Did you push any? Did you push the camera button? I pushed something on the bottom. Yeah, there should be like a, a camera icon. No. Oh, there we go. Dave, this is like the old, the old. Can uh, you see me? The old guy I, at the track. No, we can't see. You. I cannot. Who loses his house and loses his family and loses, loses everything? And then they, what are you guys looking at? What? What's looking happening? Looking at each other. I can only see da Dave. I can hear your fucking voice. Wait, no, I, I can. I can't see Dave. Neither can I. I press something. It's like taking pictures. <laughs> You're trapped in the computer. Oh no! I know what to do. He, he, he went. He went full quant. He went full quant. I got it. I got it. I got he's it. like uh, he's like TV Mike and Willy Wonka. For a... <laughs> he's trapped in the computer. <laughs> For a limited time, subscribers get one, but not two, but two free gifts: the shed travel bag, anti-chafing landscape. Still boxing. doing this ad read. This is the longest. Get twenty percent off free shipping with the code Rundown at Man. Escape. That's twenty percent off with free shipping at Manscaped. Use the code Rundown. Help your relationship during this quarantine. Your partner, your body, your balls will thank you. And you do need to support our advertisers during this tough time because we're losing advertising left and right. I know I'm getting killed, Dan, by the fact you haven't said anything. No, I, I actually haven't. I haven't been looking. One thirty-two fifty-six. You bought it at one thirty-nine. So now I have. A How'd you know that? I went and watched the video. <laughs> what video? Oh, I'm not. You stream about yourself all day, Dave. <laughs> Every I, I'm convinced video. that the Wall Street is so rigged. I'm convinced that everyone sees you doing things publicly and then can just make money off of you. Yeah, they may be able to. Definitely. Right, like that. But, like, but no, because Bo Boeing has like by far the most volume. It's like insane volume. But okay, so the closing bell on Monday, I think it was when you had Abbott and you had it at a, at a sell price at like it was like eighty two forty or whatever it was. It and hit it, it by. It kept on ticking up and getting right to it, and then not hitting it. I'm convinced they knew that. But what I did yesterday when I was on the phone with you worked right till the end, and then I bought it at the whatever. I I got. The rundown is just officially. Well, what else are you guys? Are any other subjects? You're right. What, I mean, this. Dave, what are you going to? Um, so, are you going to hold these overnight? I don't know. You? How does that work? You don't want to, obviously, right? I get, well, if I well, well I don't know what tomorrow. Boeing, Dan, you would want to. You, Boeing's going to go back up eventually. Uh, all right. So here's the pros and cons. Boeing could go back up. It because Boeing was down at 100, so I could lose. Then you got to hold it, but. I, I I put in two million, so that'll cover my fee. I I'm way over my fee again, but it's already in there. I don't know. Do you know what the stock market's gonna do tomorrow, Dan? <laughs> no, I don't. 
because if you did, then that would help me a lot. Greatly. <sighs> I mean, I feel like people do Boeing, know, though. What I, you I, said I, is true. Boeing, Trump won't let it fail. The airlines will come back, but it's just not going to be this week. <laughs> it's not no, going to be for a long time. Listen, Boeing went from 100 to 200 in one day. Yeah. Here's my. Here's what I'm trying to say, Dave. What I'm I'm worried about is someone's making money right now. Exactly. And it's not you. That's why I tried to get in it. I could see everyone, and I just wanted to take a. By the way, it's at 133 right now, so I could sell it and be like. There was a uh, uh, Joe Rogan. They were talking about you on their show for a brief second. So Joe Rogan said, um, he's like, who are the guys out there scooping up all the stocks right now? I know somebody's out there doing that. Everything's low. And one of his producers or whatever was like, the Barstool guy. <laughs> Five teams. Who's buying up all the stock now that the market's crashed? Because you know that shit's going on. There are a lot of people. A lot of people yeah. That That's, Barstool sports guy. Dude. Well, I mean, all sorts of people, right? So <laughs> you're, you're making waves in the stock community, Dave. <laughs> has Large said, like, hey, there are other people on the ends of these things that are basically taking you for a ride? He said a little bit. See, now Boeing, like, I probably just sold it because 133, I've watched it since I bought it. That's as high as it's been, and now it's going the other way. But then you're just admitting defeat. Yeah. But you sometimes have to take a loss. Don't panic. Run the football. Don't let your last trade screw up your next trade. So you're you're gonna hold it overnight? I don't know. I have forty four. I have forty minutes to decide. I have no idea. Damn. And what? And why not? What's the problem with holding it overnight? You just gotta. You have to put more money in the account or whatever. No, no, it's already in there. But I mean, let's put it this way: if this thing goes to a hundred, I should have sold it now and rebought it at a hundred. So what happened, apparently, and who knows, because I don't think the stock market follows anything. I said it would have another bloodbath day. I thought Boeing was already at its low point, and I was dead wrong. And it can go even lower, clearly. Okay, okay. But okay. it's going to go up. You just got to ride this for the long term. Right, but he's not. He's day trading. So. I know. Yeah, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying when you call me stupid. But, you're addicted no, to the no, short no. term up and, and down. But when you say long term, it, it, I agree. If Boeing, if I could get out on Boeing and it went down to 110, I would buy Boeing. But I, it's like, so do I buy it and cut it and hope it goes down more and buy it again? Or do I just think this is the low point? Okay, it's, so here's my question. Why, what made you buy Boeing today? Are you doing research or are you literally just being like, Boeing was once $400, now it's $139, that's a deal? I looked at it. That the I, thought, I thought the day I I bought it probably around 1045. So it opened low and I'm like, all right, it's at its low for the day. And, okay. it was, and that's kind of when I'm like, it's going to so, go up a point or two. And it just never went up. Like the stocks that I have been watching, like the Abbott and Lulu and Nike, I, their ranges are, have stayed what I've seen. I haven't watched Boeing close enough to know it just, I bought it and it literally just went. Whoosh. So you're managing on feel. Yeah. Okay. Gut I got guy. It. Yeah, you're a gut guy. No analytics. The, the no, eye test. Well, Does Boeing test the eye test? Yeah. There's like no I watching, I watching you Boeing a, all day. Watching Boeing all day. One thirty three should have been the sell point. You leave the pitcher in to die because you're like, get this next guy out. Right. <laughs> Momentum is only good as as the next day's fucking trades. You know what so I mean? So I was down five hundred on this call and got it down to three fifty, and now it's going back up to five because the Boeing's going back the other way. So I have, I don't know, Dan. I have twenty seven minutes of. Of torture coming up, but you okay? And then now I'm starting to understand this. So if you hold it overnight, then you have to ha cover what? Twenty five percent of what you've overtraded, which I already have. I already put in the two million, so I won't have to put in more tomorrow. But oh, so so then well, you yeah, wait for the Trump bailout. Twenty five percent of fifty. No, the bailout's happening. What you guys don't get is tomorrow. But if Boeing could open, it's at one thirty one. It could open at one twenty, or it could open at one forty. I don't right. know. So is it 25% of 50,000 shares times 139? What? I don't know. It's, it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have, I I have $5 million in my account, basically, of real money, and I'm trading like I have $12 million. So that's $7 million is what I get hit with. Got it. Okay. Like if I look at my portfolio right now. Yes, I see what you're saying. 
So you're yeah, trading. Yeah, you have seven million. Your your fifty thousand uh, shares of Boeing at one thirty nine is seven million, pretty much. Yeah, it's at six point five right now. It's see, I already. So why don't you just make yourself a promise that if Boeing gets to like one thirty nine and a penny, you just get out of this Boeing mess? Yes, think, Kevin. Well, well, I, 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 I mean, I don't think you. I, I don't think you uh, would. The way you're I talking, the way you're acting, I don't think you would. One thirty nine is what I bought it at. It's at one thirty one now. So, right, so that's, that's that's the end of it. <laughs>